Technical difficulties aside, here we are. Let's spin this wheel. And probably ignore what it gives us. What do you got? Standard mode, standard difficulty. 15 beginner level games in a row. Nope. Nope. We're not doing that. That's too bad. Oh. Well, apparently I did two dailies last week. Oopsie. Um, okay, we're not doing those. We are going to work on hard no-guess levels, though. We'll do some of that. We'll do, like, three or four of these. Let's see, the month is a little over halfway, and we're barely over halfway. Okay, yeah, we'll do, we'll do three of these. And then we'll move back to, uh... Evil no guess. Let's see, is everything else about the scene right? Zoom's good? Yeah, okay. Dude, OBS is such a weirdo. I appreciate that it's free software, but uh boy does it do weird shit sometimes. And as far as I know, there wasn't even, uh, there wasn't an update or anything. Some of my things got messed up from an update. Like, I, that's at least understandable. It's lame, but it's understandable. Oh, well, if there had to be one, mm, yeah, why did I? Okay. That was silly. How did I misread that? Oh my god. Okay, I just like can't play Minesweeper now. Well. You just realized you can't do videos for the entire week? What happened? that and that. Hmm. You have a notebook with the character's TTS voices, so you don't accidentally put the wrong one or forget when switching to another connect character, but you left it at home. Hmm. Aren't you at home? Where are you? Do you not just do it, like, while you're at home? Are you at school? Oh, you're at your grandma's house. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, I regularly leave things behind when I go to visit uh, family. It's pretty lame. But, you know, shit happens. Oh, one bomb in here means one there. So is that. Mm -hmm. No, there we go. The TTS is on Rainbow's voice and she doesn't even appear in the video. You can't, uh, you can't remember which ones you used for which characters. Misclicked. All right. This is brutal. It's been a very off Minesweeper day.
try to remember when the names are like USM Ethernet Internal One. Whoa, those are the names? They don't have like. Uh, it's not shit like Microsoft Sam. Like they don't have a funny little uh, little name. I thought they'd all have human names. Hello, Thomas. You after something? Crazy cat. Just looking for snacks. I hid some snacks in the cat tree and Mojito got to them. And I think he's just now realizing that. Hmm, they just have weird titles. Yeah, that's really weird. Predator on the prowl, yeah. He wishes. He wishes there was something to prey upon. Oh my god. He's just like eating the remains. He jumped up the tree past Mojito and there's like dust left. Oh, Mojito sniffing his tail. Wonderful. There's nothing left, Tommy. Hmm. What a freak. Ah. Hmm. Okay, a one, two, so that's safe. That's a bomb. That's safe. Shit. Yeah, for sure, cheese. Have a good one. Sorry you can't make your videos. Mm, okay, there's something to do up here. There's a bomb here, that's gotta be a bomb. And then what, we have one bomb in here? Okay. Hmm. We need a bomb here. And this is crazy. I'm getting fucking stuck on a hard mode. Brutal, dude. Hmm. You're a two, you're a one. That's not helpful. shit okay this is actually crazy how can I not see where to go this is madness get a hint and then I'm going to be mad about it. Wow. Oof. There's a bomb in here so the two couldn't have a bomb there. Alright. Alright. I don't know if I was going to see that. That was pretty brutal. Okay. So then what the hell does that even do for me? You're a one, you're a three. So then this four has two bombs here and then it has one bomb that it shares with the two. Okay, one bomb in here means that's safe. Record that. There's a bomb in here, so that is safe. It's a one, nice, okay. All bombs over here, that's a bomb.
Hmm. Uh, two, one. Ooh, quartable, nice. Let's see, one bomb in here means we have to have one there. Yvonne's dying for sure. <sighs> Later, Booski. Hope, uh, hope you get it charged just fine. Should be okay. Hmm. Okay. And then we should be, like, done, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. 426. Really bad for a hard board. Okay, let's do this one fast. And not get stuck. Just manifest that intention right now. So that's a bomb. There's one in here that's safe. Those are bombs. Here we go. Like that's the kind of speed we should be getting for the whole fucking board. Bomb in here. No, I misclicked. Come on. Oh, I'm like never gonna get used to this mouse's speed. Like Jesus. It is like too smooth, too easy to slide. It's brutal. It's like you think that'd be a good thing. In fact, I do think it is a good thing still. I just kind of thought my brain would respond to it faster. Those are both bombs, okay. Hmm, bomb in here, none there. That's a three, fine. Here's a two, one. Oh, just a quartable two I left. Oof. Hmm. Okay. You're a one, you're a one, you're a two. So a one, two. Great. That was actually a one, two, one. Whoops. Hmm, okay, we can figure out that it's right there. Great. Okay, a bomb in here. Yep, yep, great. Uh, one there means one there, there's one there. Nope, how did, there's two there, oh my god. I cannot play Minesweeper today. Holy crap, what has happened to my brain? I think I slept pretty well. safe. All right, fine. Oh, this is a 2-1. We can take this out. Hmm. Now what? A bomb in here. We can dig this away. There's got to be a bomb here. Oh, let's see. There can only be one in here, so there's a bomb there. Okay. Safe there, it's a three. Great. Bomb in here. Okay, okay. Did 
Jeez, that's a lot of bombs. All right. Hmm. Bomb here, need one there. Oh, it was a one, two, one. Mm, yep. And then what we can we can do some work in here. Here, so that's safe. Those are both bombs. Okay. Ooh, where can we go? guess down here. No one bomb here, so that's a bomb. One bomb in here and one bomb in here, so that's safe. Hmm. So that's safe. Ah, oh, it's a two. Okay. What's your deal, five? You just need both of those to be bombs? Yep, okay. Sweet. Record that. That's a bomb. Those are bombs. There's one bomb in here, so that's a bomb. Ooh, what else? Oh, that's cordable. Oh my god. Okay, that corner was really quick. Ah, what the fuck else? I can just cord you. Shit. Bomb in here, so we need one there. And if we have one in here, that's all safe. Recordable. You're recordable. You're recordable. Hmm. A bomb in here means that has to be a bomb. Great. Um, so you're already done. And then, great. Great. Okay. 243 is better. Wow, that's my second best time. Holy shit. Okay, we'll do a few more cards that we actually complete. Ah, the one three one corner. Oh, this is a one two one. Shoot. Ah, uh, another one two one. Cool. Hmm, two one. So that's a bomb. That's safe. Go ahead and dig. I will come back. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another T. Okay, okay. Like, typically with hard, you don't have to really solve difficult T's, so I think we'll wait on doing those. Oh, this is a one, two, one. Nice, okay. Damn it. <laughs> uh, brain fart. Hmm. Okay, so then what's the deal here? Nothing we can work on. What about here? There's one bomb in here, so there's gotta be one there. Okay, well, we can look at this one real quick. Uh, this T is easy. There's a bomb here. There's one above. Then there's two down here. This two already has one bomb, so there's gonna be one in here, so there's a bomb there, and then there's no bombs there. Great. We could also dig this out a little further. Nice, okay. There we go. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Okay, we can cord you. Great. And then what? There's only one bomb in here. Okay, so nothing we can do there. We have a one, two, one. Okay. Oops. Hmm. Uh, okay, one, two. Oh, there was actually a one, two, one. Damn it. Oh, this five just needs bombs all along it. Great. We can dig. All right. Here. Makes that safe, and then that's the bomb. Sure. weird when you can feel that there's enough information to solve that you don't actually know but like you can just feel it mm -hmm. bomb in there makes that save nice Two sixty nine, fifth best time. Not bad. Okay, one Uno Mas. Ah uh, shit, is this a one one one? Is here a one in your Yeah, yeah, okay, so it goes in the middle. This part of the board being so easy, I feel like the second half of it is going to be annoyingly difficult. Hmm. Bomb in here so we can dig. That's a bomb. Ah! There's a bomb there. That's safe. Ooh, this three along the edge, and then a bomb there. Ooh, yes. Okay, your cordable. Ah, oh, what the hell else can we do? You're a one and you're a two, so there can't be a bomb there. And there's a bomb here. And we know there's a bomb in here, so that's safe. Not that helpful. Uh, oh, well, we also know that's not a bomb, then. Okay, that was helpful. Oh, let's see. This spot is weird. There's one bomb between those two. Okay, we don't know. Hmm. Okay, this one, two, one is in a weird position. There's a bomb to the left or right of this. So then that's a bomb, one of these is a bomb, and then the rest of this is not. 
We can dig. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, that has to be a bomb. Great. Easy solution. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I looked at this before, and for some reason, wow, did not see that. Oh, boy. I am not capable of reading Minesweeper today. One, two. Safe. Bomb. Great. Cordable. Great. Bomb here makes that safe. Then those have to be bombs. Great. Hmm. Okay, you're one. Oh, one, two, one. Hmm. Cool. All right. Oh, 261, fourth best time. All right. I think... I think I can do one evil board, and then I might need to end it. My eyes are... Oh, they are not happy. And apparently I'm super fucking tired. I just, like, can't do fucking Minesweeper today. I don't know what is wrong with me. It's crazy. But it feels super lame to just keep missing, like, obvious... Obvious stuff. So all of that's clear. You're a bomb. Great. Portable. Uh, hmm. Hmm. So then that's safe. Those are both bombs. One in here makes those safe. You need to be a bomb, sure. Hmm. Oh, that might not be the case. Bomb in here makes that say. One, two, one. Okay, so a bomb here means we need one there. Oh, really? Oh my god, it's two bombs. Oh my god. I think that is like the second or third time I've miscounted a three. Can't even count to three right now. that Good dig that's safe so is that darn okay
Hmm. Where can we push forward? Well, there can only be one bomb there, so we actually we know it's not there, and that's a bomb. Bomb in here. Dig that. No bomb there. We can also dig. Hmm. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Dang. All right, we'll come back. One bomb here makes the bomb there. Now it's there. Great. Okay. Here, that's safe. Uh, what else? You're a one now. Okay, so the one three one corner. Great. Dig that. Dig again. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we might be stuck up here. Let's see. Well, those are both bombs for sure. And that's also a bomb, and then there's one bomb here, so that's safe. Ooh, that might be all we can do. Damn. Oh, do we have to look at the dumb tunnel? Well, that three's cordable, so I guess not. Hmm. Here makes that safe. And we know those are both bombs. Ooh, sweet. Hmm. That four needs all bombs. Okay. Then what? This is now a two one. Make our way back there at some point. Well, unless I blow up first. Ah, uh, you need a bomb. Hmm. Damn. Oh, that four now only has four spots. Okay. A bomb in here, so that's safe. Does that help with anything? No, no. Oh, you're cordable. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's helpful. Nice. This is a one, two. Whoa, interesting. Hey, Bridge. Ooh, a Steam game. Let's check it out. Huh. The rule constructor? What in the world? Interesting. It's a five dollar game. Minesweeper, but you only solve each situation once. Regions generated from clues on the board. Rules act on regions to mark bombs. Clear squares or create new regions. A checker tells you if your rule is formally correct. Whoa. Huh. Yeah, Bred, this does sound pretty interesting. Um, I would certainly give it a try. Uh, I... You are by no means uh, required to send me a Steam key. Uh, that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, how do you send me a key? Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I guess just private message it to me through Twitch. And uh, you can maybe check it out tomorrow during my regular Minesweeper streaming time. It sounds like... It might be too big brain for me, but maybe not. 
It certainly sounds interesting. But yeah, I think if you just click my name, you can whisper it to me. Yeah, you could also send uh, send me a message on our Discord. Well, you can find my username by joining our Discord and then PM it to me through there. But yeah, thanks for the uh, thanks for the recommendation. Is that does it happen to be a game that you uh, you worked on or do you just have a bunch of free keys for a game <laughs> that you you're trying to give away to people who would like it? You wrote it. Cool. Cool, dude. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. can we go here? I think we might be done over in this corner for a second. I think I finally need to pay attention to this dumb thing, but you know what? Nope, we're going to keep ignoring it for as long as possible. Ping you if I play. You get people from the game Discord to watch. Okay, for sure. Uh, basically, tomorrow at the same time is when I'll be playing it. So like it's it's 12:55 for me now. I usually start Minesweeper at 12. So go back in time 55 minutes that point a day after. I'll definitely uh check it out. Excellent see you then. Sweet. All right. I hope I like it. I'll I'll be honest. I'll try not to be brutally honest if I don't like it, but I will still try to be honest and constructive. It sounds like it should be fun though. Okay. Ooh, oh. So one bomb in here. We need those have to all be bombs. Okay, it doesn't even doesn't even matter. A bomb here makes that safe. Okay, okay. Wow, this feels not like evil. I'll leave a bomb here so none there. Sure. Nice, okay. Now, can we move in and not have to deal with this annoying little tunnel? Oh, let's see. So there's a bomb in here. So there's no bomb there. And then those are all bombs, okay. Oh my god, there was like no evil logic to this. Oh! And then I screwed that up? How did... Miscounted. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Okay. My brain is not is not down for Minesweeper. You blew I, it. I did, Crazy Pants. Dude, were you listening or watching when I was playing earlier? I screwed up. Like, I miscounted threes. Like, three different threes, I think, that only had one bomb attached to them. I thought they only needed one more bomb. I'm... I, like, cannot play Minesweeper right now. I don't know what is going on. My eyes are all, like, dry and irritated, but, like, I don't fucking know why. I think I just need to stop. It's... It's annoying. You're worried about my brain? Yeah, dude, I don't... I don't even know. Maybe the... Maybe that fire we saw is worse than we thought, and, like, it's just that my eyes are all dried out from it? I don't know. It's... It's fucking brutal. I, like, can't play Minesweeper right now. So I think, I think regretfully I need to, uh, to end early and I'm going to skip rating people because I don't, I don't want to like socially interact. My brain right now is just like, uh, so anyway, sorry about the situation. I'll be back tomorrow. Apparently we're going to check out, uh, bomb, uh, for a little bit during my regular, uh, Minesweeper time. And then we'll also play some more Minesweeper. Maybe I'll go a little extra in length if I don't feel weird and 
out of it tomorrow. Anyway, uh, sorry dudes, but uh, I hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching. There we go. All right. Apologies for the technical difficulties. Ah, uh, let's figure out if we're doing an event quest. Maybe? Maybe? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's my thing! All right, great. Well, we're doing that for sure. Hell yeah. And then let's check the dailies. Nope. Nope. Let's replace one. And of course, it puts me back at the top. Too hard, no guest levels? Yeah. Okay, great. Sweet. That is perfect. Also, feed expert, I was not taking a poop. I did pee. Everybody pees. Well, probably. If they don't, they're not going to be in everybody for very long. Well, they're not going to be part of everybody for very long. Oh, oh I love hard mode. As opposed to evil mode. Hmm. Nice. Oh, okay. Holy shit, bro. Nope. Cordable. Okay. Uh, you're a bomb. You're cordable. You're a bomb. You're cordable. So that's safe, and then that's got to be a bomb, and that's got to be a bomb. All right. Oof. Part of my hand is sore from using the stupid little tiny Joy-Cons. I didn't realize it until just now. Stupid Nintendo. Ah... Uh, Indeed. Your little tiny Joy-Cons are like not fit for human hands. They're very cute. It's cute how much functionality they packed into them. It's very cool of an idea for a controller to be able to um, either be a, a full single player controller or to switch into two little controllers. Beautiful idea in theory. I don't, I don't know how well it works in practice. Hmm. Okay, one bomb in here, so we need one there. Then there can't be one there. Dig. Uh, oh, well, you have to be a bomb. That changes everything. Great. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You're just courtable. So are you. And we can solve. Great. Great. Two on the corner. Hmm. Ooh, this is a crazy column of numbers. Okay, what do we need to do here? You're just a cordable too. Man. With hard mode, like every time it looks crazy difficult, you're just missing some super easy, obvious thing. Very nice. Just solve that four and this three and this four. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. All the way up around the back. Nice. Uh, 
what what else can we do? What do we do with this little section? There's a bomb in here, so none here. Then we know that's a bomb. Bomb in here, so these are safe. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, this forest cordable. Great. That's a bomb. Hmm. You're a one, you're a one, you're a one, you're a one, you're a one. They're all ones. Okay. So there's a bomb in here, none there. The bomb in here, none there. Cordable. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's do two more hard modes. There's a seasonal quest to do a certain number. I would like to get that quest done. Uh, okay, so there's no bomb there. Bomb in here means no bomb there. Great. Ooh, one, two, one. Uh, another one, two, one. Oh my God, I'm so excited to play Pikmin tomorrow. I feel like Pikmin does not have the same mass appeal that Mario or certainly Zelda doesn't have that same mass appeal that Zelda has, but such a good game series. It's like the only time I get to scratch my RTS itch because it's the only RTS that I even kind of want to play. Okay. Okay, well, hold on. Okay, so if the bomb's in here, then no bomb there. And then if there's a bomb in here, there's no bomb there. Ooh, nice, nice. You were gone for a bit? Oh, it's all good, Feed Expert. You can come and go as you please. You could even ask me a question and then just leave if you want. It'd be kind of rude, but... I'm ready for it. It's okay. Would the game be easier if you got a dog to sniff out the bombs? Well, something I didn't realize that in retrospect is quite obvious is that these are sea mines. It's in the ocean. And I don't know, I don't know if a dog can sniff sea mines, do you? That's like a legitimate question I have. I don't think they can. I feel like they can't get the, the smell through the water, but man, like maybe they can. Maybe. I watched a documentary at some point about like dogs and cats and their ability to smell and that like human ability to smell is like really crappy and some scientist was like yeah so like you'll smell bread in the oven but like your dog would smell the yeast and the dough and the, however uh whatever like extra things you added the like fruits and the nuts and whether there's baking soda or baking powder like you can just smell all those things I'm like holy shit dude so I don't know, maybe they could. How about a seal? That would be so cute. Oh my God. Again, same same problem, I don't know. I don't know if they can do that. I know uh, what like Russia uses, they have like defense seals, right? There's um, like they have military bases that are like protected by seals. I think, or maybe it's like dolphins, I don't know. They do some weird thing with some kind of sea animal. Because of course they would, because they're Russia. Uh, there needs to... Oh, okay, so hold on. This is all ones, so it's in the middle. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and then there's only one in here, so we need one there. Sure, sure. Yeah, I've played Team Fortress 2 on stream. It was, it was not amazing, but that is kind of, um, at least part of it is because I was, I was playing it with Vass. He was doing like a stream marathon and, uh, so we, uh, we played that together as part of it. 
And so he was having connection issues. So that was at least part of the non enjoyment. But then the other part was, I think with all new games like that, that don't have like a, a story mode and a campaign that builds over time, it was kind of like just being thrown into the fucking lion's den. So it was, it was a bit of a clusterfuck <laughs> trying to figure out how things worked. It was pretty fun though. All the different classes are cool. It was fun when I, when things worked out. Like I successfully used the spy one time to trick people. Uh, it, I tried using the scout, but I did not do so well with it. I saw it was one guy kick my ass with the scout and that was really impressive. He was so fast and effective in his movements. Uh, so that was cool to watch. Um, and then who else? Oh, the, the doctor was fun to play. But then when I finally, when I found Pyro, then I felt like I became kind of uh, effective. It was fun to punish people for being too aggressive. Oh, the medic. He's just the medic. Right, right. Even with no connection issues, it would have been overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I, I don't know. I wish there was a better solution. I know Valve isn't going to go uh, go ahead and make a fucking campaign for such an old game, but boy, it would be nice to be able to learn bit by bit how things work. It's so so brutal to just be thrown into it. It's the same reason I like don't play uh, like League of Legends or other MOBAs like that. It's just like I I need to learn on my own by myself until I feel confident enough to uh, step into into human on human games. We were like wounded men surrounded by sharks. Yeah, it did feel like that at times. A lot of people clearly knew what they were doing. You'd like to get back to it, but it's definitely too toxic for your competitive brain. Oh, that's funny. I would like to get back to it too. It was pretty fun. And I can, whoop, I can see that it would become more and more fun the better I get at it. Once I become actually competent at the game. But there's a pretty big uh, barrier to that. Ah, oh, there's just so many goddamn video games to play. Crazy Pants and I started playing this weird game called uh, Cultist Simulator. And it's, it's like this very, it's like story driven. You read a lot of text, but it's like a card game. And you just like start the game with a hand of cards that represent like your intellect and your, your physical health uh, and your passion. And you choose whether to put those passions or to like, you need to like do work to earn money. And so you can like drag your intellect over to the to, to the work zone and then it's like okay i'll work using my mind or you can drag your heart over to that and it's like okay i'll work using my body uh and do like menial labor uh and then you have like you can also dream you can put your passions into dreaming um and you like slowly uncover like an occult world uh, and then you start a cult we just got to the point where we started a cult it's very strange you like you don't know what you're doing when you do things you just are like okay maybe this will do something and then you put one card into a thing and you find out what it does and you just have to remember what it does it was super interesting i am super intrigued to play more it's very strange new players get stomped at tf2 yeah and like i said i don't think there's a solution other than a campaign that slowly introduces you to all the concepts and valve's like no no nah, that's that we're not doing that Yeah, someone uh, came into our chat and was warning us about the cheating problems uh, and that, like, bots would potentially come into the room we were playing in because it emptied out and they were like, oh, you need to be careful. Uh, whenever people vote to kick players, they're probably voting to kick a bot, so be ready to do that. And I was like, okay. Uh, and that happened one time, but... You do have more than 2k hours in that game. A friend of yours got an ulcer because of it. Wait. 
Wait, for real? Like, from being worried? Wow. Weird. Oh, we can bomb here. I don't think I could play any game that stressed me out that much. I think a game has to be mostly, like, exhilarating or intriguing or, like, a good puzzle like this. Um, I will do things, like, in Destiny. I beat all the... There's, like, a an activity called Dungeons. Uh, they're, like, challenging three-man activities. I do beat all those solo. And that, sometimes, I'm like, God damn it, this is so annoying. But I have to say I did the thing. He was playing really seriously for more than 10 hours per day. Oh, my God. Dude, I don't... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. That person needs better role models. and Or maybe just, like... A, a talk about addiction and happiness and maybe some therapy. Fuck, I don't know. I feel like it's possible for someone that has good role models to get into that situation. So maybe that's not enough. They might need some extra attention. Like you, you're a great role model. I don't know about that feed expert. Oh my god, did he have his catheter? Did he get spoon-fed by his mom or caretaker? Bro. I think there's a there's a wide range of addiction before that has to happen. Like the fucking South Park episode where they're all playing World of Warcraft. Oh my god, words. Yeah, League of Legends is incredibly addictive. For sure. Especially when you have awful situations around you. Hmm. Addiction is crazy when you're happy and healthy. Mind be bitching. <laughs> yeah, it can definitely happen to people that are happy. It's interesting though, I like I don't think I would ever get addicted to League of Legends if I was in a in an unhappy state. Because that game is so toxic. I feel like I just couldn't get into it. I feel like if I started if I started happy, and then I was like, oh, I'll try League of Legends, and then slowly got hooked on it despite the toxicity, then I could see sticking with it even when when my life fell apart. But I feel like if I was really depressed, I would just want to play, like, Mario. Something, like, from my childhood that's, like, a comfort game. Not something where I'm going to be yelling at people because they didn't do something to mid. I don't know. Something about jungling? I, I don't know. That game has a bunch of weird terms. Addiction can, of course, come from the vi environment you grow up in. Yeah, for sure. I think some people are predisposed to it, even if they have a, a good home environment, though. Yeah, yeah, being addicted has a huge genetic component. Boy, I should just read the whole fucking message before I respond. That might not happen for a while. I'm a bad streamer. Not that you can't overcome that, or if you have it in your genes, you'll be an addict for life, but surely it doesn't help. Yeah, for sure. It's all like a, it's like a melange, a combination of bullshit that leads to addiction. Cha. I don't know, Booski, if you're still here. I feel like you're you're a pretty happy guy, but you might be addicted to drinking. But it's it's the it's an interesting question where the line is of like just really enjoying doing things or being actually addicted to it. Addicts represent, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we all have that in us. And with some things it's like you just let it go. Or you try to channel it into uh appropriate stuff. I used to be certainly addicted to smoking weed 
And boy, was it hard to stop. Hey, you are still here. Alcoholic indeed, but functioning. <laughs> Who wants to live past 60? Bro, but all the cool video games. You're going to miss out on like Diablo 7 and 8. And Baldur's Gate 5. Weed's got you by the balls. Yeah. It... Smoking, it was really bad for me because my asthma came back. And so that was like... Like, oh man, I like couldn't sleep anymore. I'd go to sleep and I just like was wheezing. Crazy Pants knows. She was there. That was, that was fucking brutal. And even at that point being like, I want to quit. It was like, but like, what do I fucking do? I smoke weed all the time. I love smoking weed. What do I fucking do? It was, uh... It's fucking hard to quit. You're an addict to addictions. Oh my god. Just like collect them like a trading card game. Okay, five. You're the answer. You need two bombs in here. We gotta have one here and the other is next to this too. Clear that out. Yeah. It's been nice having me not coughing constantly. I know, man. I know. And you quit smoking cigarettes, like, mostly for me, because I hated the way it smelled. I guess you never complained about my breath smelling. Maybe weed didn't make my breath smell. It certainly made my mouth dry and gross. Which still happens when I drink, uh, like, weed edibles. Oh, bomb in here means none there. Ooh, might we? Might we have to do a bomb count? No way, this is just hard mode. There we go. Okay, so that's our three hards. Let's uh, let's open up the quest page. And wasn't it? Yeah, it was this. Okay, great. So we can collect that. I always forget to collect. Yeah, Vass. Uh, in I think most states now in the U.S. it's legal. Uh, it is recreationally legal in California, as long as you're over 18, I believe might be 21 in some places um it was kind of a strange thing because it became legal but then like a bunch of local places like towns wouldn't they just wouldn't give out license licenses to sell it so it would be legal but not always available everywhere you might have to drive half an hour or something to get somewhere uh where it was legal And for a while, prices on things were not good. Stuff was expensive. But now I can get, I can get a pretty strong edible that consistently gets me high, uh, for like just a few dollars a serving. It used to be like ten dollars to get high, and now it's like ten dollars worth of edible can get me high like five or six times, maybe more. Jeez. So let's see. There's a thing I buy that's thirty dollars. And it's a concentrate that has a thousand milligrams in it. And that ends up being uh, five milligrams is enough to get me high. So, God, that is like hundred, like a hundred plus servings. So yeah, definitely uh, it's very cheap now. Even though you don't smoke weed anymore after you travel into the fifth dimension. It's, but it's great that it's legal. At least you could keep it clean instead of getting it off the streets. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You really want to slow down or quit. It makes you anxious about your health. Yeah, feed expert. I think a good thing you could do is transition to not smoking it. If you don't smoke already, then like slowly do it less and less. But uh, it's, it's definitely hard to quit. And people will minimize how hard it is to quit. Because like, oh, it's not physically addictive. It's just in your brain. But like your brain is all... The whole world is your brain. Like, you only know the world because of your brain. It's fucking hard to deal with. Weed smell dissipates differently than cigarette smell. Even when you smoked all the time, you didn't like the smell left on your clothes and car and stuff. Oh, yeah. Vass, you like the cig smell? Oh. Oh. When, if it's like, like, uh, one of my friends in, in high school used to roll his own cigarettes, and that shit smells way better like actual rolled tobacco that has like few additives it smells pretty good oh man vaping is a whole 
other fucking thing. Vaping is so addictive. Nicotine is such a bitch. I can't even imagine trying to uh, kick a nicotine habit. We have to have a bomb there. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, right, yeah. We've seen Vass roll, uh, roll up uh, on stream. So yeah, that's a good point. And I, I do like the smell of tobacco. Like I said, my friend in high school used to roll his own, and then also uh, our friend's dad would smoke cigars like once a year. He'd like go in the garage, and we'd be like getting food, and we would smell, smell the cigar he was smoking, and be like, oh, that smells really nice. <laughs> oh, you just meant vaping weed. Okay, great. Great. A lot of people, when they say vaping, they just mean cigarettes, but, uh, well, they mean nicotine. But good point, good point. You could certainly just mean vaping weed. Vape, vaping weed always like irritated my throat more than smoking it, which was a frustrating situation to be in because it's like healthier to uh, to vape it, or at least that seems to be what people think. You gotta run Booski for sure, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here all day tomorrow for Pikmin 4. I'm gonna go as hard as I can until uh, until the wee hours of the night. Should be fun. Unless my internet dies. Dear God, if my internet dies, I'm gonna be so sad. I just thought, just please work tomorrow, internet. There's like three days a year I actually just need you to work. Ugh. Ugh, bad vibes. If it wasn't a gateway for you, you'd love to have a cigar or pipe tobacco every now and then. Yeah, Crazy Pants, maybe we could get like some incense that just has like tobacco in it or something because I like the smell when it's like the actual smell of tobacco, not all the weird additives that they put in cigarettes. The shit smells like death, like you're smoking industrial cleaner or something. Damn, I think I have to deal with this tea. Don't see another way forward. As it is, you haven't smoked a cigarette in like six years and you always want one? Damn, dude. Well, I really appreciate you not smoking them because they make you smell gross. And also like you would probably die younger and I would like to hang around with you more often. You managed to stop smoking for one year and then one cig, and here you are back at it? Damn. They are fucking expensive, for sure. It is a waste. All right. Uh, let's look at this little bastard in here. So what can we extract? If there's a bomb in here, and we look at this guy, we, got, we know there's a bomb in here. And of course we look at this guy, we know there's a bomb to the left or right. And there's one in here, so so no bomb, no bomb. Okay, all right. Then with this three, we can actually know there's a bomb there, because there's one left in here. Okay, okay. You ever get tired of smoking tobacco and start rolling up a fresh batch of green beans? Whoa. I don't know if it works that way. It sounds kind of fun, though. Just like smoking weird shit. Quitting smoking and drinking saved us a shitload of money. Yeah, good point. We do still occasionally drink, but yeah, for sure. Ooh, this is all clear. And a one. Nice. Okay, that's a good in. That will give us some stuff to work on. Five. Come on, five. Harsh in my vibe, dude. Ah, uh, yep, bomb here, and then a bomb there. Okay, and then we can dig this. Maybe we didn't need to do that. Ah, uh, you're a one. 
That needs to be a bomb. There's one bomb in here, so we need a bomb there. In junior high, your friend paid you $5 to smoke oregano, and you almost had to go to the hospital. Oh my god. Should have started with just like a little tiny rip. You did that for free. Oh my god. One of my friends at one point, we like were out of weed. And was like, yeah, if you smoke enough oregano, you get high. And then tried to do it and did not like it and gave up very quickly. It burned really fucking hot and you burned your throat really bad. Ooh, that sucks, dude. It was already a dumb idea, but it sucks that, uh, to have it go so poorly. Hmm. Oh, that's the bomb. Nice. A six. What a rare creature. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Done with the corner. That's why you tried oregano? Oh my god. That was the exact reason my friend did. Our weed hookup was gone. And we ran out faster than we thought. And then we were just like bored and looking for drugs. And we, we were like getting snacks in my friend's kitchen. And our other friend was like, well, if you smoke enough oregano, you get high. Like it definitely works. And boy, they could not commit. Maybe if they had committed better, they would have gotten high. I don't know. Hey, Team Worm! Are you still in Canada? You were not trying to live long at that point and you did a lot of incredibly dumb shit? Yeah. I feel like many of us have been there. Oh my god. Don't don't try smoking anything. It's a bad idea. You've passed the phase in your life probably where your brain is dumb enough to convince yourself to do that. Well, you're still in Canada. I hope I hope it's going good. Okay, hold on. You're a one. Okay, so then that's safe and that's a bomb. Oh, a quartable one. Hell yeah. Hmm. Okay, we just have the tiniest amount of things left. Come on. Come on. There's something in here. Ooh, there's only five bombs left. We might have to uh, do a bomb count. Oh, guess not. Try smoking worms. Oh my god. A real earthy high. Those poor worms, though. Okay, one bomb left, so then it has to be shared by everybody. It's got to be right there. Nice. Oh, scroll it down. Widen the window a tiny bit. And let's see, can we still? No. There we go. <laughs> 69% efficiency. All right. Come on. Come on, smiley face. You're fine with just eating them? Bruh, leave the worms alone. The worms won't leave you alone because you smell so good. That is creepy. That's a creepy statement. Whether it's true or not true, Sounds like something you'd read in like a, a video game that's slowly getting more and more horrifying. You're like picking up like notes and other information about like someone's descent into insanity.
Oh yeah, that cheese. But did it actually have worms in it? I guess maybe it did. Hmm. Hmm. Have I played the sequel Swine Sweeper? No, but that sounds interesting. What's the plot? You're a farmer trying to find all your pigs? I don't know if that has the same uh, the same legs as Minesweeper. Sounds like it'd be good for a joke, though. Like a a game that is silly, intentionally. Diffusing pigs. I've never known a pig to explode, but I haven't really known that many pigs. Oh, miscounted. Didn't see that bomb. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That was certainly a subpar move. Brutal. Well, we'll just start over. Sometimes life gives you lemons and you unintentionally shit on them. A subpar move by subpar Seth. Yeah, exactly. Also, hi, Karaga. The statement, feet, do you have a cord? Sounds so weird. I assume you are talking to feet expert. Oh my god. The weird way that like people with internet handles will just have names that are like not names is so strange. Oh my god. Vast, did you just do like a Ligma balls joke, but but with a, with Discord? I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Uh, yeah. Okay, and then that's a bomb, sure. And we cord that, sure. Those are bombs. Great. Fuck, I'm all scattered. So disorganized. Oh boy, okay, where can we go? Where can we go? It's the auto message of one of your bots, nice. It'd be kind of funny to have one bot ask another bot a question. Like one bot sets up the dad joke, a dad joke for another bot. It'd be fun. I'm sure somebody's done that at some point. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, and then that's a bomb. There's a bomb here, so that's safe. No, no, that's not what I wanted to click on. Damn it. Damn it. Boo. Boo. I gave you the best idea. Well, you're welcome. You blew it. Thank you. I wouldn't have known. It's nice to know you have my back, Crazy Pants. I appreciate you, girl. Oh, that's just cordable. Oh, and then, yep, yep, okay. Ooh, one, two, one in the corner. Did I see your drawing? I don't know. No? Maybe. Shit. I don't think so. Did you join the Discord? Oh, yeah, that was yours. Yeah, dude, that is really good.
that is like like you clearly have artistic style and you can draw things that look right i regularly go to draw <laughs> there's an r in there take take the u out and put an r in It's really funny to not have skill at drawing and to try and draw something. And then like, not only can you not even make it look like the thing you're trying to draw, uh, but then like, you also just, even if, even if this, this is specifically my experience, even if I could draw something, it would just, it would just have no unique artistic style to it. It would just be meh because I'm at the point where I can barely even make something look like something. I do just need to commit and just start drawing stuff. I want to uh, like draw funny moments from my stream. I want to learn pixel art, so I think I'm going to just commit to making pixel art for funny things from games that we play through. Drawing is so hard, yeah. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill. And I think the people who think it's just that you have talent or you don't, don't realize that like some people just draw like constantly from the time that they're like a four-year-old or even younger uh okay there's a bomb in here so we need one there damn it okay nothing we can do there that's courtable but it's certainly frustrating to try to start drawing and to just be like so bad at it <laughs> like to not even be able to make something that looks anything like what you want and you just have to like keep starting over and starting over is like, oh my god. Yeah, the uh, the sub parable, the, uh, the channel point icon definitely took a bunch of effort. I redid that thing so many, like we we looked at we would like i would upload it and then look at it on the web page on twitch and it's like oh my god it looks so bad it just doesn't it looks fine when it's big but then you make it tiny and it just doesn't look like anything god that was so hard to deal with oh i think we have to do this t all right t what do you got for me you got a three in the middle one above or below so we got two in this column Ooh, then we got one over here okay so there has to be a bomb here there's one in one of these two spaces. Those are safe. Okay. All right. Thanks for being cool, Mr. T. You just made a conversation between two bots in your chat? Nice. That does sound fun. I kind of want to think of something to set up that way. I hope it works right. If it if it doesn't work right, it probably it would probably look really dumb. <laughs> oh, we have another T to deal with, but it's a uh, T with a two in the middle is so hard to manage. Okay, is there something else we can do? You know, there's a bomb in here, so these are safe. Okay, and that. Okay. Shoot. Ooh, but now we know there's only one bomb in here. That might help with the team. It does. You're laughing your ass off right now. Nice. Nice. Hopefully I'll get to see it. Okay. Okay. What can we do in here? If there's one bomb in here... Then we, oh, then there's two bombs in here, and that solves this too. So those are free. Okay. So, and then this too lets us know that's a bomb. Okay. Oh, yeah, all right. Then there's one in here, so that's safe. That's cordable now. Those are both bombs. That's a bomb. Okay, okay. Oh, we can... We can dig that out. Okay, 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 okay. It'd be sweet to have a bot that could count up how many times I've said okay. I say it at the beginning of streams. I say it playing Minesweeper. 
the mines are being swept today. Indeed. Uh, well, we know that's a... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's... It's not very helpful. Okay, let's stick up here. There's got to be things we can do. Let's bomb in here, so that's safe. Kind of a dead end. Oh, those are all bombs. Wow. Hmm. Oh, we can clear that out. Yeah, feed expert. Crazy Pants is my, uh, my girlfriend. We live together. She's like, I'm like 20 feet that way through a wall. Doing whatever she gets up to in the day. I don't know. <laughs> hello, hello. <sighs> okay, okay, there, there's something up in the corner. What are we... These are all ones, so that's safe. You dig. You dig again. Okay. You're working. <laughs> Why doesn't she cut a hole in the wall to watch you stream in real time? It's a worse experience, definitely. There's, it, it looks nice, like, on the, on the web, but, like, it's a, it's a mess in here. It's like a carefully constructed ruse, you know? It looks organized and well lit. Or I guess it looks naturally lit, but, like, in truth, there are some bright-ass lights in here. might not be comfortable to try and watch while they're blaring at you. I can only tolerate them because they kind of are above me or behind me. You were wondering that. You assumed that was the case, but it might have been awkward if you were wrong. You could always just ask. I'm not going to be offended. We could just be friends. It's certainly possible. Funny part is there's a doorway that the previous owners just patched over right out of the frame. So it would be easy to cut a hole. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this house was a a mess of very low quality do-it-yourself shit. Ooh. Ooh, I accidentally clicked. Man, it has been a while since I accidentally clicked. I have moved the mouse one space over and clicked. But, uh, huh, that makes me realize I've kind of gotten over the accidental clicking. Except right there, apparently. All right. Where can we go? What can we do? What is the situation? There's a safe spot right there. Okay. That's not enough to work with. What else? Fuck. Hmm. Ah, uh, this spot's kind of weird. What can we do here? Um, oh, there's a bomb above or below the two, and that finishes off the three. So we can go ahead and reveal that. Now... Hmm. Oh, we can kind of, like, follow this around. There's got to be a bomb in here. Then we look at this two down here. There's got to be a bomb in this long row. There couldn't be more than one. Which means for this two, there's either one bomb or two bombs in here, but there can't be two, because that invalidates the three, so there is a bomb in there, which means this three is solved, and that's safe. And then this three is also solved. So hey, there we go. All right, we found our bomb. Got him, boys. Nice, okay, now we have stuff to do. Wonderful. I love the natural ebb and flow of Minesweeper. Off to your performance review, oh boy. <laughs> Goodbye, female Seth. Wow. She's, she's more of a unique person than I am. If anything, I'm the male crazy pants.
She's into cool shit like foraging and woodworking. I just like to play video games. Stardew Valley IRL. Yeah, IRL and also Stardew Valley in Stardew Valley. I feel like that's one of the first games that she got addicted to. Which is funny because she, I bought Stardew Valley and then I played it on single player and was like, man, I don't really, I don't really like the flow of this game. It feels like there's too much to do and I just don't feel motivated. And then she bought it and played it a little bit single player. And then I was like, hey, we should like play it together. And uh, it, my God, we have hundreds of hours. Farming in Booba, that's what you need in a game. Oh my God, I assume that's a reference to Genshin Impact. But not it, Genshin Impact doesn't just have Booba. It's got the, the nice, uh, the nice man tummies and pecs. But yeah, Genshin Impact is sweet. The story, the story's a little eh, but the world's beautiful. The music's amazing. The gameplay is fun. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? There's a bomb in here, so we need one there. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. You wish you could disable your libido. You don't want to get enticed by Booba. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. It's, uh... It's, a. Uh, it's hard to balance all the primal urges in a modern society, right? Even just, like the the craving for sugar and fat is so brutal I wish I could just turn it off for a little bit sometimes Ooh, this is quite a limited start How to self-surgically rewire your brain. Yeah, the problem is there isn't really a surgical way to do it, right? Like... It seems too complicated for any human to, to do right. But god, that would be so cool to like, just turn it off. Like, like look, I have shit to get done. I just don't want to worry about boobs or sugary food or fatty food. Just turn it all off for a week. I got shit to get done. What the fuck do I do here? This is crazy. Okay, well, you're a one and you're a two. So we do have a very nice one, too. Okay, so I should at least embrace that for sure. Stuck in a flesh prison. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely feel like that for sure. I think, like, meditating and, like, mindfulness work can help you kind of, um, accept it. And even, like, thrive within it. Like, taking a few quiet moments to just, like, meditate and sit with your body. I moved over when I didn't mean to. That was brutal. Dang, I really like this tiny beginning. Oh, well, too bad. Anyway, taking a moment to sit with yourself, feel how you're feeling, can help with the, uh, the strangeness of being a human, I think. Like, you know, we were, we have been in a strange way designed for the natural world. So like all of our feelings make sense. They might not be convenient, but
but they all make sense when you look at them in the right context. And then you just gotta accept them and manage them, right? If you're really mad, don't hit people, don't hit things, don't kill people. Find a positive outlet for that shit. Yes, Vass, you did hear Booba. Crazy Pants brought it up, of all people. Who doesn't like boobs? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Also, oh, you're safe. Do you think reality has RNG or is everything predetermined? Dude. I mean, in, in some way it's predetermined, right? Like, because stuff has to follow, like, the laws of physics. So it's not like, uh... It's not like you'd go to punch somebody in the face and before you hit them, your fist would turn into, like, jello. Like, right, like, there's some things that are predetermined, but it seems like a chaotic enough system that it's essentially RNG to us, right? Like, some things are really obvious, but, but some stuff is just, it's so unpredictable that it may as well be, uh, may as well be RNG. There's some none there. Okay, all right. It's an interesting philosophical discussion, though. But yeah, as far as, like, a predetermined destiny, yeah, like, that kind of shit seems like nonsense. And it also sucks because a lot of people, like, use that as an excuse to be giant assholes. When really they could not be, it's just hard to not be an asshole sometimes and they don't want to do that. It is a cool idea though to like imagine being able to um to like collect and process so much information that you could seemingly predict the future. Like predict people's actions. I'm sure on a on a certain level you can, right? Like studying economics you probably as like a business would know like okay if we lower our prices more people are gonna buy our thing probably and things like that you can probably predict but it's always b really big patterns it's really hard to know a very small how a very small thing is going to un to like play out it's easy to know how people will act in the long run but hard to know how any one individual person will act. Which is at least interesting, right? You wish you could quick save IRL. You sleep poop in people's houses at 4 a.m. Oh my god. Why not just do it in the middle of the day, right in their faces? I feel like there's some movie where somebody does that. Like, not throwing poop, but they, like, do shit and then just rewind time. And then they're like, sweet, all right, I got my angry desires out i got to like smack this person and then rewind time and have it not count great which that would be pretty sweet but yeah if i was if i was in a situation where i had decided i was gonna fling poop at people oh boy would i do it i would do it in the middle of the day like right when they get home from work or something like i would want to see the horror on their face I'd be pretty bad if my time time reversal tool failed at that point, though. Ooh, ooh, that'd be awkward. Let's see, ooh, that's yeah, that's not great. You'd use the rewind to understand the limits of jokes that you can say on Twitch since the rules are fuzzy. Yeah, that shit is is really hard. I think, I think in general. You want to try not to be too edgy, right? Then you forget to quick save and get permabanned. Or you just, you have to choose between being permabanned or loading your last save, which would be like weeks in the past. Which at that point, it'd probably be worth it. 
edgy humor is your humor since you were a child. I think there's... I think if you're careful, if you're dedicated to it, you can find the right kind of edgy humor, which is, like, humor that... is edgy, but isn't, uh... isn't going to hurt marginalized groups. Right? Like, some edgy humor can be clearly a joke when you know who is making the joke. But if you don't know who is making the joke and their actual thoughts, then somebody might get offended. And I think you can walk a, a careful line with your edgy humor to just offend people who suck anyway. That's got to be a bomb. Nice. Just make your own language. Oh my god. I, I don't know if that's if that fully helps. You see dark and edgy humor is inclusive. Yeah, I think if pe again, if people understand the context of how you're making the joke. Um it's I think humor in general is inclusive because it like to find something funny you generally have to understand the situation. Right? Like if you if somebody makes a joke about politics and you don't understand what they're saying, you just won't find it funny. You like have to actually understand politics to be able to interpret a political joke. <sighs> what can we do here? So yeah, I think in the right way it is inclusive. Especially because, like, humor, especially, like, satire or sarcasm is a really good way to, like, hammer home that it's it's wrong to be a bigot or that it's wrong to be homophobic or that it's wrong to support trickle-down economics. Like, humor can be a really powerful tool to, uh... To not just, like, get people on your side, but to make sure that people understand you. Because otherwise they won't find shit funny. It depends if you're bullying people just for the sake of it or if you're making fun of a situation. Yeah. Including, for example, wheelchair people into your jokes as inclusion. Excluding them and treating them differently as a form of marginalization. Yeah, but then you need to be careful about how you include them in jokes. Because your dark humor might sound like you're marginalizing them unless somebody gets the full context. Yeah, not like saying, haha, you can't walk, yeah. Yeah. I definitely think that's why it's, uh, it's really powerful when somebody who is a marginalized group uses dark humor about their marginalization and it can help um like it can help people sympathize or empathize when they otherwise wouldn't and there is definitely a shortage of empathy going around uh with certain groups of people for sure okay hold on is is there something what god ah I'm stuck. Okay, how about this? If there's a bomb in here. Oh, damn, there's a bomb all along. Nope, nope. Okay. Oh, ooh, there's only one bomb in here. So we can look at this too. We know there's one bomb in here. Also not that helpful. Okay, wait, maybe. Because there can't be more than one in here. So could we have two here? Would that be allowed? No, because there's already one here. Okay. So that's not a bomb. And that's not a bomb. Ooh, oh, that was that was some hard logic. You spent basically your whole life surrounded by people with disabilities, and they're the first ones cracking the darkest shit ever. It's easier for less fortunate people to make offensive jokes. I think often because if they make uh, 
like like if a a like for example if a like persecuted jewish person makes a joke about being a persecuted jew then it's really hard to be like that person's being insensitive to the plight of persecuted jews it's like they they are one their joke is the opposite of that you're stupid And I guess this kind of stuff wouldn't be a problem if people would just make sure they understood the context of jokes. It's really easy to take things that people say out of context and make them look like monsters. When if you would actually look at the context of what they said, it's like very clear that they're, they don't mean what they said. Ah. <sighs> Fucking stupid people are why we can't have nice things. And not just stupid people, but like stupid people that lack empathy. It's one thing to be dumb if you try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But if you're stupid and you lack empathy and you just attack people and shit. It's, it sucks to feel like you can't joke about stuff that you're clearly being sarcastic or satirical about. Without potentially getting in trouble by like Twitch, for example. Damn, bro. Okay, there's got to be more to do in here. What can we... What can we get out of this? Ooh, there's two bombs here. Because this four... There can only be one bomb here. Then this three only needs one bomb, so it's got to be there. Two down there. Okay, so then this three. Clear those out. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that was spicy. Okay, we can cord that. Then that's a bomb. Those are cordable. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Solved it. We did it. Nice. The thing is that usually people try to defend people without realizing that they're being racist because they're assuming and deciding that those people need to be defended. Yeah, in, cert in certain situations, that's definitely true. I think sometimes it's the case where that is potentially valid. But it's easy. It's, it's like so easy for it to swing too far one way or the other way. Especially on the internet, you need to be careful for people to understand you're not serious. Yeah, definitely. Even though there will always be someone. Yeah, the, the frustrating thing about being on the internet is that means somebody could just cut a portion of your video and then make a video that's reacting to that. Like, look at all these terrible things this person says. But then if you go back to the video, they might be saying something that's like, well, look, it's not like I believe blank. And then somebody cuts the part where you just say blank. Like, oh my, it's so stupid. It's so fucking crazy. You think a lot of issues people have with jokes made by people who aren't a part of their group is it's pretty clear they lack understanding. So the joke doesn't work because it's based on false assumptions. Yeah, that's definitely a risk. And it that's why it can be, I think, better to uh, to not. That's why I was saying it's, a, it's definitely a, a better idea if you're doing edgy humor to like, I don't know, make fun of like boomers because like fuck boomers as a whole. Any individual boomer might be cool, but as a whole, boomers have done some pretty shitty things like contributed to destroying the planet and then fighting against not destroying the planet or benefiting from having cheap houses and then intentionally voting for uh, people who make housing no longer cheap and available to people. It's like they pulled up the ladder afterwards. Again, statistically, as a whole group, they've done that. Any individual boomer might not. They're like the opposite of a marginalized group. They're a they're the the main asshole group in power at at least in america maybe other places it's like religious old people or just religious people i don't know i don't know you need to find a balance that's why you're testing yeah it's it's hard though because if you're if you're on twitch like just like youtube had the adpocalypse they they want things to be squeaky clean and family friendly or labeled labeled clearly so that it's clear you're not that. And it can be hard if you think you are family friendly and you're just making, um, you're clearly making satirical or sarcastic jokes to uh, show your support for marginalized groups. And then some idiot thinks that you're doing the opposite. And Twitch just panics because, boy, they, they're not making a lot of money. They need to figure out how to make more money. So they would probably uh, rather rather not even risk it. So then they won't even defend you, even if it's the right thing to do, potentially. 
which is understandable but stupid. Just, I, I feel like a lot of our current culture is, it's understandable how we got here, but it's very stupid. Since you're not big yet, you can test without people clipping things. Oh, be careful, Vass. All it takes is one, one asshole. Uh, five, what's your deal? You just need that to be a bomb, right? Great. Uh, and then this five also needs a bomb there. Great. Uh, okay, so then this is... Oh, it's a one one. Not helpful. Uh, okay. You're learning hiragana and katakana. What are those, feed expert? They sound like cool uh, Japanese words. The Japanese alphabet. Oh. Cool. I would like to learn Japanese. Don't worry, you know. <laughs> kind of know the limits by watching many many hours of content on twitch yeah it's oh it's scary because like again kind of like with the adpocalypse on youtube things might lots of people might be doing something and then all of a sudden retroactively youtube decides no that's not okay your channel's banned forever it's like holy shit dude like how can you do that One bomb here means that has to be a bomb. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, and then one bomb here means that's not a bomb. Ooh, nice. Nice. Yeah, feed expert, I remember you saying you want to live in Japan. That could be really cool. You might find out that that's just where you want to stay if it's a match culturally, you know? A lot of aspects of Japanese culture seem pretty cool. I love, it's it's probably a stereotype, but I do love the fact that there is constantly things on the internet about like Japanese um, sports teams coming places and they just like clean the fuck out of everything before they leave because that's like a big part of their culture is like the personal responsibility of keeping places clean. Like, boy, I wish we could get some of that in America. Like, I don't understand why people here just want, like, all the freedoms, but they want none of the responsibilities that comes along with that. It's fucking dumb. Japan is beautiful for the story and such. Society is really fucked. Yeah, there, there are certainly lots of negative aspects of their society just like there's lots of negative aspects of ours every society just kind of organically grew from a bunch of primitive idiots so there's all kinds of bullshit that is uh just stuck okay one bomb in here means both of those are bombs nice Ooh, okay 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 Because of Eagle. Well, like, because of, like, the... The, like, idea of... The Eagle. It's, like, my freedoms. Exactly, okay. It's, it's such a strange animal to associate with freedom. 
Like, I guess uh, any bird in general, it probably seems pretty cool as a, a creature that can't fly. To be like, damn, dude, I wish I could fly. An eagle is a top predator. For sure, yeah. That is probably part of the uh, appeal. I have const I regularly heard the anecdote that Benjamin Franklin wanted America's animal to be like a turkey. Because wild turkeys are like really fucking smart. And that shit's fucking hilarious. It can fly and it looks badass. That's true. But there's all sorts of other animals that fly and look badass. And that sound badass. The like stereotypical eagle screech is actually a red-tailed hawk. So like eagles kind of sound wimpy. We should have gone with the red-tailed hawk or something. Hunt down the little man for your own benefit. That is that is a part of capitalism. <sighs> okay, we only have seven freaking bombs. <sighs> How do we do this? It's probably something we can get out of this tea. We have info on either side. So, there's one bomb in here. Let's look at this too. There's a bomb here. We look at this two, one bomb in here and one in there, so no bomb. Okay. That seems not that helpful on the surface. Um. Shoot. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So we look at this two and the fact that there's one bomb here, there's one bomb there, so bam. Okay, okay. Time to overclock my brain. Eh, we'll get there. We'll get there at the regular processing speed. It just takes a little while. In fact, my brain is probably as overclocked as it gets because I've been slowly sipping a chai latte. Uh, okay, we can clear out because there's a bomb in here. Okay. Ooh, okay, we already knew there's a bomb above or below this too. So its other bomb has to be there, and then boom, we clear all that out. And we know that's a bomb. My god. This fucking game. Okay, no bombs. So that guy's safe. And we're done. Alright. Not a great time. 48th best time. Slightly better efficiency than I normally do. Still not very good. Okay, game, why do you why do you lag when I click the fucking face? What's your deal? got to you got to get with it maybe they're throttling my connection they're like this guy's playing too much minesweeper for not supporting us on patreon and they'd be right i deserve it yeah uh hold on hold on there we go i could feel there was an easier way to figure that out Damn. Nice. Quick little corner. Uh, what's the deal with this four? There's a bomb in here. So then for this four, there's one bomb in here. So this three needs a bomb there. Not so useful. Probably shouldn't have wasted my time doing that. It's hard not to. Later, feed expert. Oh, you're going to be playing Sekiro. Nice. I still have not played through that. That and Elden Ring are still on my fucking list. But yeah, see you around, dude. Hope you have a good one. Hope you enjoy Sekiro. One bomb in here, so that's safe. Should have courted that first. Okay. Yeah, all right. Cool. <sighs> okay. This top row has so much stuff. 
what can we do? There's one bomb in here, so that's a bomb. Great. Okay, that was actually very easy to break down. Nice. Nice. Fuck, what time even is it? Okay, only 1.30. Great. <sighs> Completely forgot to pay attention to time. bomb in here means that's safe. Okay. Ooh. That's safe. It's not helpful. Oh, actually, maybe yes, there's a bomb on either side, so that's safe. Oh, that's a weird thing to figure out. Okay. Then a bomb here, and this the three needs... Well, okay, the three only needs that, so no bombs here. Okay. Huh. Okay, how how do we figure this out? There's a one here, so there's no bombs surrounding the one because its bomb is up there. Okay. Now, if we have... Oh, this is just a one-two-one. One. Nice, okay. Ho ho! Man, other games certainly have better, uh, better themes, but the way that the flow of information works in this game is so good. It is like whoever made it stumbled on the, like, the distilled essence of making a puzzle. Like, taking information from one place, using it in another, having that information that is used, changing the state of previous information and updating it. Oh my god, it's so good. Damn it. It's that song that's kind of loud. One of the two. Hmm... Yeah, chat looks okay. The music for chat looks all right. Chat, if the music's loud, yell at me. I keep forgetting to look into the fact that this song and then a Mario song is... It's good? Cool. Uh, this song and then a Mar there's this other Mario song that is, like, just a little bit too loud. And because it's all part of a, like, lo-fi playlist, a lot of the other music is quite quiet. I just keep forgetting I need to look into, like, I don't know, some way to rebalance the song. I'm sure there's a way that I can, like, keep the same song file, but, like, lower the volume. And I don't, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to tell Google that's what I want, and I keep forgetting to tell Google that's what I want. But maybe there's a nice answer. Oh, a tea full of twos. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Mm, nope, well, that's cordable. And then you need a bomb. Great. Oh, a six. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to work on that T. That's like all that's left. Darn. Okay, so what do we got? It's all twos, so that makes it really difficult to get extra info. We can start from the bottom. There's a bomb here. Then there's a bomb in this group of three. Then we go up to looking at this two. There's a bomb here. And then we know there's another here. Okay, so no bomb and no bomb. All right. Then... This two has to have a bomb above or below each one. So then we can dig. Ooh, now that's cordable. Okay, that might be it. That might be the whole thing. Yep, there it is. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't look at my stats. Can I go, can I go back? Maybe? 399, 12th best time, that's not bad. Okay.
Hmm. Okay, what the hell can we do here? Your quarter ball. All of these are ones. That's not helpful at all. All of these are ones. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh, okay, a one-two. So safe bomb. Oh, it was a one-two-one one even. I just didn't see it. can solve and then if there's only one bomb in here there's got to be a bomb there you're a bomb So we need a bomb there. Ooh, okay, I think we're stuck in that corner. Bomb here, so that's safe. One above, so we have one below for sure. And then we can also dig. We know there's a bomb there, so that's safe. Nice, okay. Ooh, a one. Sweet. That's a bomb. Those are bombs. Those are both bombs. All right, all right. Shoot. Yep, yep. Damn, this is going quite fast. It's usually the point when I blow myself up. Either my brain fucks me over or my lack of skill with this mouse. Safe. Oh my god, this giant wall of ones. Uh, okay, okay. So you're just a 1-1, one, one, so then that's safe. It was a 1-1-1, one, 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 so the bomb has to be in the middle. Oh my god. Too many twos, okay. Well, we might be able to dig. We'll come back, we'll come back. Okay, so a one, two, then that's cordable. Ah, uh, one, two, okay. Oh, you're a bomb. Oh, nice. Okay. Ah, uh, so that's safe, and then that's a bomb. And then, sure, we'll just cord. Yeah, you're a bomb. Okay, what's the deal? This is a one, two, so then that has to be a bomb. Okay. Then a bomb in here and a bomb in here makes that safe. Oh, it's a one. Oh. Damn, okay, we're stuck there for now. We'll come back. Those are both bombs. That's a bomb. Uh. Hmm. Now oh, it's so weird. We have just like three little separate sections. Ah, let's go look at this one. What's going on over here? Anything? A bomb here completes that three, so that's all safe. I can cord you, and then this four can be completed. Nice. Okay. 
God, fucking fives. Bomb here, so those are safe. Can dig. Hmm. Shit. A one, two, three. Uh, hmm. Can we actually solve you? So there's a bomb in here. So then for this three, this little spot, these three cells have one bomb. Ah, uh, which means for the two, there's a bomb above or below the one, which lets us clear all that out. That is nice. And a bomb in here means that's clear. Okay. Um. What else do we... Oh, that one has a bomb there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the good stuff. All right. Nice. Okay. One one weird little section is done. Okay. Let's see what we can actually figure out in here. This two has to have a bomb there. Nice. Now, what else? There's a bomb in here. And this two has a bomb to the left or right of the top two. And the four has a bomb in here. Okay, so that completes this two. So those are all safe. Ooh, this three just has to have a bomb there. Nice. And now this four needs a bomb right there. Record that one. Finish that three. Bomb in here makes that safe. That three's already cordable. Uh, okay, that has to be a bomb. Great. Okay, we're down to three bombs. How do we figure this out? There's one bomb in here, there's one in here, and there's one down here. No way. Okay, let's see if that's true. Those are all safe. Great. Well, then we know. We know where they all are now. All right. 436, 21st best. It's in the top 10%. Yeah, not bad. 76% uh, efficiency, too. It's better than my regular 69. No bombs there. That can't be a bomb. What else? Those are both bombs. Fascinating. You're cordable. Bomb in here means none there. Oh, this is a very strange start. Hmm, let's go look over here. God, okay. So, bomb here, one in here, safe there. You can dig. These are all bombs. When am I going to become an efficiency player? Probably soon, Karaga. I'm seeing less and less uh, challenging evil logic. And I think at that point, when I start getting bored... I think then that's time to become uh it's time to become an efficiency player. Whoa. Now, can I be an efficiency player that uses flags or do I have to know flag to truly be an efficiency player? Because if I can't use flags, I don't know. It might be an endeavor I sour on quickly. Four. Dick move. You have to use flags. Oh, right, because then otherwise you can't court. Okay, sure, sure. Great. The name might be self-explanatory, but what is that if exactly? Uh, minimizing the number of clicks that you do. Oh, did I? That too was done, so there's no bomb there. It does also require a lot of guessing. Oh. Yeah, Vass, and it's not just more courting. It's like the order in which you cord is important. Um, I will regularly cord in a way that, like, th there are times when I will cord twice and use two clicks, when if I had just corded a different spot to begin with, I would have gotten the same results, but only had to click once.
And to a certain extent, that would also help you move faster because you need to click less if you are just internally uh, efficient. Oh. But, uh... But yeah, Karaga, the guessing part sounds not fun. So do efficiency players that play in, um, in no guess mode, are they guessing for the sake of getting higher efficiency when they clear a board? Because that just seems, that seems wrong. Wrong like feeding a chicken a chicken nugget just feels wrong, you know? I don't, that's uh, a one, two, and then there's another one, two. Hmm. Oh, you only have three spots, great. Bomb here, we can just cord, nice. If you never guess at all, it'll be hard to get high efficiency games. Oh. Maybe I'll just settle for maximizing my efficiency without guessing. Because a lot of what I enjoy is learning to be better. I don't necessarily need a crazy high score to uh, prove it to myself or something. Some people make crazy guesses when playing for efficiency, but you can get you can get away with relatively safe guesses. Hmm. Yeah, Vass, I'm in the same boat as you. Guessing doesn't sound fun. That is. That's why you find me in the. Uh, in the no guess mode all the damn time. Bomb in here. Ooh, on either. Ooh, okay, okay. We don't know. Consider that a two, and then that's a one. Okay, so there's a bomb there. Okay. Oh, that three's all bombs. God, a five. Fine. Two, one. Bomb in here means none there. Bomb in here means those are clear. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is pretty nice. All right. bomb in here we can clear that out Ooh. okay uh so then that's a bomb and then we don't know anything else <sighs> damn it bomb here means there's a bomb there so none there okay hmm oh if there's two bombs in here there's two bombs above so we can ah nope Clear that out. I don't know why I clicked the wrong button. Hmm. Oh, okay, so that has to be a bomb. Oh, and then that's cordable? Nice, okay. Nice. That's a bomb, that's cordable, then we look back and that's a bomb. Sweet. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, that's safe. Hmm. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, that's helpful for the other side, nice. Still stuck here. You're a one and you're a two? Oh, so bomb and safe. Okay. Uh, okay, I think most of this is still going to be difficult for me to progress with. Uh, okay, a bomb in here, so that's a bomb. And then we know there's one in here, so we can dig. Okay, okay. A nice opening.
Okay. Well, now we have the spot. I don't know how to progress. Okay, let's see. What do we got? One bomb in here. Uh, oh, a bomb in here means that's safe. Okay, can't really do anything with that. Fine. Uh, oh, shit. Huh. All right. Well, kind of stuck. Hmm. Oh, the four can just be solved now. Oh, my God. Oof. Maybe it's maybe it is time to start going for efficiency. Just keep getting stuck on the most obvious shit, not like actual evil logic. It's so brutal. Okay, you're cordable. So are you and you. Okay. Another five, fine. Uh, okay, so this four needs a bomb there and we're stuck again, but that three is cordable. Uh, the four needs a bomb, all right. Okay, one bomb here, that's a bomb. We can dig. Okay, six bombs left. Uh, what's the deal? There's a Three. So we have two bombs in here. We know there's one there, one in here, and this five also needs one there, so that's safe. There's a bomb in here, so we can clear out all around the two. That's a bomb. That's a bomb. Ooh. Okay, nice. And then, yep, there we go. Okay. 480 is not too bad. 62% efficiency. Ouch. Ouch, that's really bad. All right, we got time for one more. Then I got to go rest up for uh, the Pikmin Marathon tomorrow. Random question? You got to click the question button. Not really, but... Have I played Tunic? Yes. Yes, I did. Actually, Tunic was like one of the first games I tried to stream because I thought my computer could run it quite well. And oh boy, was it poorly optimized. It was really sad. It kind of, um, it like took the wind out of my sails for a while with trying streaming. But it was really good. It's a really good game. It's just made by one guy. So it's not, uh, not really well optimized. And looking back on it after playing Hyper Light Drifter, it is really funny how similar the ideas for the game games are. It's like the guy who made Tunic was like, dang, I really like the ideas from Hyper Light Drifter. I'm going to do that, but instead of like a pixel art world, I'm going to do like cute low, um, low resolution, like poly polygons. And I'm going to make the character main character look like Link. But he's a fox. But he did, he did add some very unique um, and interesting puzzle elements to the game. It has probably one of the best puzzles in a game that I've ever seen. That is like, it's like you don't even know the puzzle is there. And then partway through the game, you get some cryptic hints that like, hey, dude, there's this weird puzzle that's been staring you in the face the whole time. And then you like re-examine a bunch of things that you had already seen. No, hold on, hold on. Okay. It's very interesting. They do look similar, yeah. A lot of, like, the ideas, the what you do as a character as you move through it, it's, like, so clearly inspired. It's, 
it's so heavily inspired, I almost want to say ripped off. But, you know, nothing's, nothing's fucking original, right? You can try really hard to come up with an original idea, but somebody else has already thought of something similar. And the, the execution of the world in Tunic is very cool. The combat is a little bit, um, it's heavier and more methodical. Like, imagine Dark Souls, but if you couldn't dodge out of an attack. Dark Souls is really nice because until a certain point in your attack, you can abort it and dodge. Tunic is not like that. Ever. <laughs> and it is very brutal. It is very hard to get used to as somebody who likes to play light, uh, like lightly armored agile characters in Dark Souls. Ooh, that's just quotable. It's crazy it's so expensive. Hmm, how expensive is it now? I think it was like $30 new, but maybe I'm wrong. And some developers just like, don't like putting their games on sale. It is, it's 30 still, yeah. It's crazy for it to still be essentially full price after, um, after it's been out for so long. I think, I think $30 is probably a fair price for it at launch. But I think that's quite expensive for, um, God, like a year or two after it came out. But it's a, it's a pretty long game. I think there are definitely other games that would give you more for your $30, but I think the experience is unique enough. If, if future me could somehow explain to past me the cool puzzle that was going to be hidden in the game, past me would probably be like, oh, holy shit, I'll pay $60 for that. That's fucking crazy. It's quite a unique... Uh, work. But yeah, definitely a little bit on the expensive side. As far as uh, indie games go. Ah, uh, you're safe. We can dig you out. Okay. Mm, I'm going to ignore that. That looks like it's turning into a T. I don't want to do that. Uh, maybe that's the only place to go, though. Hmm. Let's see, we need two bombs in here. Okay, yeah, that's not helpful. Uh, a one, two, but the two goes around a corner. Also not helpful. Okay. Okay, yeah, maybe we're just going right back over. Yep, okay, we're going to go deal with the T then. Uh, let's just double check before we get in there. One bomb in here. That does mean one in here. So then there are two bombs in here. Ooh. Which means there's one here. Oh, ooh, that's hard. That's hard. You appreciate companies that don't put stuff on sale much. It feels more honest than making stuff too expensive initially and cutting prices later to make it more enticing. It's it's so hard. I feel like that's such a hard... Um, there's no right answer, right? Um, I also appreciate that, that view. Um, I believe Factorio is that way. And I remember somebody describing it as um, it's some kind of sales method where you always know when you look at the price of Factorio, that's the best price you're ever gonna get. That's how much it costs. It doesn't go on sale. It's not gonna lower in price over time. That's you, that's the best price you'll get it for. So there's no reason to like worry. If you think it's worth it, get it. If you don't, maybe in the future you will, but it's not gonna change anytime soon. Um, and that's, that's certainly nice when uh, you hear about people who have like a Steam backlog of like 500 games 
when they see a game and they're like, oh, five dollars, that's a sixty dollar game and I kind of want to play it. OK. And the end result is that, like, they're just wasting their money, which I, I have definitely been guilty of in the past. Some stuff is on sale 99 percent of the time. Yeah, I, I do think that's really stupid. It's essentially like price gouging when it's new uh, and then and then actually appropriately valuing it, evaluating, evaluating it. I don't know. The value is appropriate later on. It is nice, though, when there's a game you want to play and, you know, uh, the company heavily discounts things like um, Mario vs. Rabbids. I got the first one for like $10, I think, during the pandemic. And then the next one came out and I was like, "Ooh, I do kind of want to play it. But um, it was on sale all the time and it's already been like knocked down like 60, 70 percent off. So maybe maybe some Black Friday if I don't have a game to, to play on my Switch while um, stationary biking. Maybe I'll pick it up. But yeah, it is frustrating to use sales in like to like min max the way that you use sales rather than just having like a simple like, well, it'll go on sale for holidays or things like that. A lot of stuff promoted in podcasts or YouTube videos is always advertised as having a special deal to buy. And it's the same deal going on in every single ad you see for years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Amazon Prime Day is like that, too. It's so funny to see things that are like that are marked as like, oh, it's $30 and it's like half price for Prime Day. And then you look up the price history of that product on uh, like Camel, Camel, Camel. And the result is that like, yeah, it's normally like 45% off, like just regularly, guys. So your discount is like 5%, which I guess is not nothing, but like, oh boy, you guys are like fucking lying. And then there's Pokemon, always basically the same price after years. Yeah, Nintendo in general is really, really harsh about discounting their um, their first party stuff. I got Breath of the Wild for $30 and that was like years after it had been out. Uh, it was like the, the Black Friday deal, like one time was it half price ever. And then the rest of the time you're lucky to get like five or 10% off for sales. Oh my God. Okay. This T has to be solvable. Oh, I, yeah. Okay. I misread this. Okay. Okay. Because, okay. Let's follow it back up. One bomb here. Then we look at this one bomb here. Then we look at this. There's two in here, which means one in here. And then there couldn't be two down here. This needs two. So there's one bomb there. There's no bomb there and there's no bomb there. Okay. All right. Fucking fuck you, game. They would have a better console. It would be even acceptable. But the Switch, come on. Yeah, it's it's impressive that they can sell the Switch, which is such a crappy piece of hardware, uh, at a profit. It's kind of respectable that Sony is willing to uh, lose money. Ooh, so we know that's the case because there's only one bomb here. Uh, it's it's. Almost respectable, I should say. Sony knows they can lose money on the PS5 or 3 or 4 because they're locking you into their ecosystem and you'll pay too much for games, which is super lame. But it is at least nice that they sell the PS5 at a slight loss. Compared to Nintendo, who is not only locking you into their ecosystem, but also profiting from you buying the Switch. It sucks that Nintendo makes such fun, like, family-friendly games, but then, like, you look into their business practices, and it's like, man, these guys are, they are bastards. They are fucking pushing as hard as they can to protect their investments and make so much money when, like, they could maybe make a little bit less money and be more honorable. Which is interesting because their executives don't get paid that much. It's like they're honorable in some ways and dishonorable in others. Whoa, this is a one two one made out of a three, a three, and a four. Whoa, dude. At least you can play more more complicated games, not like Pokemon Scarlet or Arceus. The dude, but the 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 stupid thing about that is, like, 
your like your argument is correct, but Breath of the Wild looks pretty good. And Pokemon Arceus and Pokemon Scarlet look so bad that it's it's like it's certainly the Switch is the uh, limited in its capabilities, but also Game Freak did just they just did a really bad job. So, like, even if the Switch was, like, as powerful as the PS5, Pokemon's, uh, Arcea Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet would still look worse than other games that were coming out on it because they did such a bad job optimizing it. It's so brutal. I think um, Digital Foundry looked at Scarlet and Violet, and they, I think they came to the conclusion uh, that the entire world they're loading all of the Pokemon's like movement on the map in the entire world. And th if they just didn't do that, if they only loaded Pokemon in the regions you were in, uh, or even better, if they could get away with it, like where you're looking, uh, like they don't need to be rendering all those models, but they are because they're fucking stupid <laughs> and they're not, well, okay, they're not stupid. They are very economically minded. They know why make a 10 out of 10 game when people will spend just as mon much money on our poorly optimized six out of ten like performance game it's so brutal i'm so sad that like po the newer pokemon games go function so poorly and they still sell so well breath of the wild took years because of the hardware limitations yeah definitely that was definitely part of it the the main like nintendo teams are so good at optimizing their shit which is kind of sad that tears of the kingdom dips down into like 15 frames sometimes it's like they they finally were like, look, we this nut, we we can't crack this nut unless we make some sacrifices. And for Tears of the Kingdom, I feel like the sacrifices were worth it. It's such an impressively fun game. But yeah, d definitely that if the if the Switch had the power of the PS5, it wouldn't look as bad as Scarlet and Violet do now. It would just look kind of bad instead of being embarrassing. Like the old Pokemon games had charm, even when they moved into the 3D camera, like the 3D rendering, it still looked okay. But oh my God, the the newer games are just like, like they're trash. The performance of them is trash. I, the story in the newest one was a little bit better. And some of the Pokemon designs, so fucking cool. It's just so weird. They, they, they got weird with it. And I really appreciate that. But like, fuck, just, make your game perform better send it send it over to nintendo and let them optimize it for a little while but like they won't because they know it's like a kid's game and most kids are gonna buy it and a bunch of adults are gonna buy it and just not care oh it fucking sucks it's sad to see like 10 out of 10 transformative art compromised because because capitalism it's, it's fucking brutal but uh on that note it is, it is time to end my stream. Uh, let's, let's look for somebody playing Minesweeper. No, not the dashboard. My page. Let me search Minesweeper. Or simply hire more people. Yeah, that is a huge problem that they have. They're just unwilling to hire more people. And God, may, like maybe they're just, maybe they're not like obsessed with money and like just, like, I imagine the executives at Game Freak are, like, obsessed with money or just completely checked out. Just like, eh, whatever. I don't really fucking care. We don't need to hire more people. We can make the game. It'll look bad, but it'll still sell like hotcakes. Who cares? That is the only way I can imagine them. But, like, maybe, like, they have some other weird principled stance to making their team bigger. But, like, God, just hire more talented people. They're not obsessed with decent games. I, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad to like to realize that like your favorite game franchise like Pokemon is essentially being held hostage by the people who invented it. And like we wouldn't have it without them. But like also, boy, are they fucking it up left and right. And people still buy it. Like I'm, I'm mad at Game Freak and I'm mad at the people that buy it. It's so brutal. Oh, my God. I just I just got to like let it go. <sighs> anyway. Uh, ooh, somebody named the Cyber King is playing. Oh, they're not playing Minesweeper, though. They're playing a thing that they have described as Minesweeper action. What is this? What is this game? Mm, no, it's that weird 2048 game. Nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. What else we got? Me. Okay. Yep, just me. All right. Well, 